okay. How are you? How are you? Um, I am sorry that I am jumping out so late tonight. It's been a weird night. It's been a super weird night. Um, if you guys pop on, say hello so I know you're here. Um, and I want to talk to you guys about, before I pop into, pop in, before I jump in on, um, on the title for what tonight's going to be about, about building a community with your business, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that happened to me today, which is really weird and bizarre. And I just, the reason I'm even sharing it with you guys, because um, I want you to know that no matter how long you're in this business, how established you are in this business, um, it happens to everyone. And if it does happen to you, don't take it personally. Um, but let me just tell you a really quick story that um, it's just so strange. It's so strange. So there was a lady that I had friend had become friends with um, about, I don't know, maybe like six or seven years ago. And I met her at the place I get my hair done. Um, she was really nice. She's an English lady. I fell in love with her accent. And um, we had become Facebook friends. Uh, I had um, gifted her a product way back when. And then um, her mom had been diagnosed with cancer. So I offered um, about, I guess it was probably like three years ago. Maybe it was like three years ago. I had offered to um, do a fundraiser, you know, to do a fundraiser and donate all of my commissions to um, helping her mom with the cancer or, or pay for her cancer um, bills. I did it. It was a super successful party. Donated all the money to her. Um, her mom actually was, um, she's famous, or she was famous. Um, she was in a lot of the Elvis movies. Her name was um, Susanna Lee, Susanna Lee. Um, and she and her mom were super, super close. Um, hey, thank you guys for the love. Um, so anyway, we did, I did this you know, fundraiser. It was super successful. I gave her the money for you know, all the commissions. And then um, she still was struggling with, you know, they were still struggling with the cancer treatment um, payments. So she had set up a GoFundMe account, and I donated some money to that as well to try to help her out, you know. And um, it was kind of it was kind of interesting because, like, uh, she had she's asked me a few times over this time period about, um, you know, making extra money with unique, becoming a unique presenter. Not sure she wanted to do it, you know, things like that. But she's never done it. And I'm not one personally. Um, if I'm friends with you, I don't ever push my products. I don't ever push the business. Um, on any of my friends, you know, uh, number one, I don't want things to be uncomfortable. I don't ever want people to sit here and be like, oh my gosh, she's going to talk about unique or she's going to try to get me to buy something or she's going to try to get me to join. You know, I don't ever like, I don't want that feeling. So I don't ever do that. Um, I will do it with people obviously that I don't know that I don't have like one-on-one -on -one really close personal relationships with, um, on Facebook, you know, people that, that I meet in groups and things like that. But as far as just like, you know, personal friends, I don't do that. So, um, anyway, so weirdly enough, like a few months later, you know, she asked me about the business and didn't end up doing anything with it. She didn't end up joining or anything like that. Um, and next thing you know, she had, um, I went to look for something or send, I think I went to send her a message or something and I looked and she had unfriended me and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so weird. I don't know why. So I had messaged her. Um, and she just said she was, it, it was after her mom had passed away. So she was going through some stuff or whatever. And she said that she was cleaning her Facebook up and she, the people that she doesn't talk to all the time, she just unfriended everybody, which was whatever. So, um, I said, I'm sorry, you know, that, that you're going through that. And if you need anything, I'm always here, blah, blah, blah. So like, um, I don't know, a week or so later, I get a friend request from her. Which was kind of weird, because I'm kind of funny with that. If you're going to unfriend me, that's cool. That's up to you. You don't have to be friends with me. Um, but if you're going to want to friend me again next week, eh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't like playing games. I'm not, I'm not you know, a teenager anymore, and I don't know. So, but I did it, because I figured she's going through stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and friend request her back. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and accept her friend request, sorry. So then... That was like six months ago or so. Well, she messaged me. I did a post, an opportunity post. Um, for those of you guys popping on, I'm just kind of giving you guys um, a little bit of a quick story before I go into what our topic is tonight, just because this just happened today. 
And um, I was just trying to share, just to catch you guys up, I was just trying to share how um, no matter how long you're in this business, how established you are in this business, um, stuff happens just like it happens to you and you just have to learn to deal with it and let it go and not let it affect you and not let it bother you. So, um, so six months ago that, you know, she requested my friendship again on Facebook. I said, yes, you know, and then in January, I had done an opportunity post because I was doing the um, 20 and 30 at that time and I was doing a bunch of posts and she had private messaged me and she says, um, can we get together for coffee and let's talk about doing this. I, I, I want to do this. Now, this is like the eighth time she's asked me about it. Um, and I said, sure, I would love to meet up with you. I said, but I'm in New Orleans right now. My father-in-law passed away. Um, can we catch up when I get back into town? And, you know, she offered her condolences and, you know, she talked a little bit about her mom passing again and she said, no problem. So um, when I got back into town, I had messaged her and there was like two or three days that I had said, hey, you want to meet this? It wasn't good. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. So I said, okay, here's my number, my phone number, whatever, you know, whatever's good for you, just just call me and I'll, and I'll meet you. Never heard from her. So anyway, fast forward to today. That was January. Fast forward to today. In my community um, little group that we have, there was somebody, she does acting, you know. She does acting uh, classes, like she, train, uh, she teaches um, acting. So there was somebody that had a daughter and she wanted um, to find somebody to help, you know, teach her daughter how to act. So I thought, oh, my friend, you know, Natalia would be fine. So I went to tag her and it doesn't show that we're friends anymore. So I go on her page and I look and we're not friends again. I was like, what the heck? Like, this is the second time that this lady has unfriended me for gosh knows what reason. And, um, so I messaged her and I, you know, hey, what's going on? And, you know, I said, hey, you know, how are you doing or whatever? And uh, she basically, you know, thank, she's like, thank you, Lee. Um, I'm in no need of makeup at this time, which is really weird. Because, like, I'm going to say again, I've never sat there and ever offered, like, ever. I don't even know if she, I think she might have bought one thing from me. I think I've given her, like, three. Because I know she was going through some tough times and I was trying to lift her spirits. And then, of course, like I said, I donated for her mom's cancer thing, and then I donated all my commissions to help, too. Like, So I, I don't really know where all this was coming from. And I, and I straight up said I wasn't writing about makeup. And I told her, you know, someone at the page had, had talked about needing a coach, and, you know, I thought about her, and it was really weird. She's like, my door's always open, sends me her website, gives me your phone number, and says, you know, if you personally want to get in touch, and that was it. And I was like, okay. You know, sometimes... You got to just let stuff go. <laughs> you know, you unfriend me once. That's you. Whatever. Uh, you go and friend request me again. I I accept it back, which was kind of weird that I even did that because normally I'd be like, no, you know, if they're, they don't want to be friends, they don't want to be friends, it's fine. But then you unfriend me again. I don't have time to play the games. And my point, the reason why I'm sharing this again um, with you guys is just so you know, this stuff happens no matter how long you're in this, this business, no matter whatever. The more people that you're going to bring into your life, the more that people are going to unfriend you, people are going to be weird with you. People are going to make it seem like you're only after one thing in a conversation when that's not what it is. And it's not how you've ever been or portrayed yourself as. So just know you're not alone. Just know that it happens to all of us. Um, and don't take it personally. You know, um, prior to being with Unique, I can honestly tell you if someone unfriended me, I probably would have sat and cried. I'm not going to lie. I, I've always been super... Um, like it's, it's always been meant a lot to me that people liked me and that, you know, um, you know, that, that I didn't have, you know, people that disliked me, I should say. And I'm to a point now, I've just grown so much with unique. I, I know my worth. I know my value. I know what I bring to a friendship. And if you don't want to be friends with me for whatever reason, whether you don't need my motivation or inspiration, or you don't need, you know, my friendship, whatever, it doesn't matter, whatever it is. I wish you the best. Move on with your life, and that's it. And I'm like this close to just straight up blocking her because I don't want to. I don't want to like six months from now she friend friend requests me again and I play this game. I don't want to play this game. So um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not. But I just wanted you guys to know that it happens all the time to people. Um, it's not alone. If it's happened to you before, I can guarantee at some point it's going to happen to you again, especially as you grow and, and make more friends and build more relationships. 
And, you know, sometimes it's going to be people that, you know, are close with you in your life and they don't understand your growth. So they back off and like freak out and don't want to be friends with you. I've lost friends that way too. Um, but you know what? If they're not meant for you, they're not meant for you. And that's it. You know, that's it. I'm not going to spend my effort and my time um, fighting for a friendship that's obviously um, not, you know, not a good friendship, not a healthy, not a, not a healthy friendship or relationship. So anyway, okay, so I just wanted to share that only because I know, uh, especially new people that are getting in, you know, this business is a tough business. It's not the easiest business in the world. It's something that is um, it's incredibly rewarding when you stick with it and when you stay consistent with it and you believe in yourself, but it is something that um, it, 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 you grow. You have no choice but to grow in this business because you're gonna get stuff thrown at you in all different ways that you know um, will test your um, your strength, you know? And, and the only way to deal with it is to just learn and grow from it. And then the next time it happens, and it will happen again, you've, you've experienced it, and you kind of have a little bit better balance as to how to handle it, and you just handle it better than you did the last time. Um, so anyway, so cause for me, I choose happy. Okay. Um, so anyway, all right. So let's talk about building a community for our business. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys already kind of know what that is and what it means and all that stuff. But because they've been talking about the groups and how Facebook's changing the groups so much, I thought, you know what, let's talk about the importance of building a community because really that's where Facebook's going more than just having a group. It's really about having a community. And the reason I'm, I'm I've got a great uh, example because I've been experiencing it the last week um, and I think it's something that we can kind of turn and implement into our businesses and I think it'll make your your VIP groups your um, online party groups your lash bashes, lash bashes I can never say that your lash bashes um, I think it's gonna make them a little bit more fun a little bit more engaging and um, it'll make you feel better about it um, so I'm just all about examples tonight, aren't I? Um, so anyway, so last last week, two weeks ago, I guess it was two weeks ago, uh, there was a group, I've, I'm in a couple of groups from when I was in high school. You know, there's a couple of little groups they put together. But there was one that was started um, a couple of years, a, a couple of weeks ago, sorry. And it was for like four or five years. Um, I graduated, here, here, I'm gonna share my age right now. I graduated in 1988. Um, but it was like 80, I think it was like 87 through 92 or 86 through 92 or something like that. And um, I was like, oh, that would be fun. You know, it's a little bit more like my age group, people I went to school with, people, you know, that were leaving when I was coming in as a sophomore and people that when I was leaving as a freshman were coming in, you know. So it was like it just kind of takes care of all of that for me personally because I was right in the middle of that, with that age. And this group is like the most fascinating, amazing, awesome group there is that I've ever been a part of, straight up. Um, it's fun. They're, we're talking about memories. Uh, we're talking about, you know, what was your favorite this back then? You know, talking about teachers back then. Who was your favorite teacher? Even to the point which, I, you know, um, they were even talking about, you know, rumors. All teachers have rumors and stuff that kids talk about when you're in high school. And how, you know, we're grown now, so chances are none of those rumors were ever true. But, you know, what were some of the things that were going around when you were in school? Um, what was some of the other stuff? That, let me see if I can find um, some of the examples. What was your favorite rock band back then? Um, let's see. They post all the time, so I'm sure it's got to be right right here. Um, hold on. Sorry. Oh, here we go. Remember when is what it is. Um, like one of them is like he just sent a picture, you know, do you remember the different variations of different outfits and stuff that we would wear back then? Um, where we went for clubbing, like where you went to go have fun. Um, let's see here, I'm trying to see. Um, sharing pictures from back then. Um, it says, you know, so who are the single parents, divorcees, never married, et cetera, the bunch who stayed in the area, who left, like just all kinds of, and what that what that's done um, is it's really built an amazing community in that group, a lot of engagement, a lot of engagement. People are always, you know, people are asking questions and doing posts, people are responding to posts. 
Um, it's bringing back memories. It's got a bunch of, you know, your, it's get your, your feelings like in, in such a happy place of memories back then. And there's people that are even saying, listen, I don't remember anything back then. You know, I don't know how you guys, like half the people are, I don't know how you guys remember this and how you do and that. And, um, but it's just honest. It's just raw and honest and people talking. And, and um, there was actually one post where somebody was talking about, you know, I'm so sorry, you know, if I was, you know, mean or ugly to anybody when I was back then. You know, I don't know how I was or how I was perceived, but I, I hope if I ever hurt anybody, you know, I'm sorry. You know, like people are just like opening up. It's just crazy awesome. And I mean, guys, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it. Crap. Okay, well, you can't see it. But it's like, well, here, hold on. I just, you can see a little bit. Um, but literally, it's like, this is all from, hold on. This is all in two weeks. Okay, in all these comments, look, I'll just tell you, this post here has um, 13 comments. This one has, um, I even did one, what year you graduated, and all these people wrote on here. This one has 16 comments. Um, this one has, they were talking about, you know, Star Wars and stuff like that. They're bringing that up and talking about that. This one has 12 comments. This one has 42 comments, uh, four comments, five. Like, every single post has comments. So it made me think to myself, what can we do, okay, in our lash bashes, in our VIP groups, what can we do to build a similar type community um, that you have that engagement and you make it fun and you make people see a post that says, you know, it's coming from you and they want to see what it is because chances are, um, you know, it's going to be a cool post or something that you're going to want to answer or something like that. And I mean, they're like even joking on this page about how, you know, I'm going to have to get off of Facebook because I'm spending so much time in this group. Like people are talking like that on here. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want that for my VIP group. I want that for my flash flashes. So what, um, one of the things I was thinking that we could do is obviously um, women, you know, in general have a lot of personal struggles, right? Like we all have insecurities. We all have um, different levels of insecurities, things that, um, you know, interests. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that make us who we are, you know, um, and kind of turn it into like a safe place. Now, I know it'll be a little bit harder to do some of this with the lash bash because you only have a certain amount of days to get to know these people, then get to know you. So maybe work with it in your VIP group for a little bit and kind of get that where you're really super comfortable and then maybe somehow um, orchestrate it into your your lash bashes, but um, I don't know, like make it a safe, you know, girl talk, um, like change it up, you know, um, anything that you want to talk about, it's a safe zone, you know, make a no negativity type thing, um, you know, I'm, I'm in a Jeep group, um, it's Jeep girl group, I should say, it's a girl Jeep group, Jeep girl group, whatever, and they have a lot of things in there about it's all about uplifting each other and sharing, you know, sharing your Jeeps and sharing stuff like that, but there's no negativity, there's no, you know, anything. And they will remove posts, they will do this and that, but it's a super engaging group as well. Not quite as exciting and fun as the high school one I was talking about, but I think part of that is because we all had a history in one way, shape, or form, you know, um, even if we didn't know each other, but we all had a connection where, um, even though in the Jeep group, we all have a connection because we own Jeeps, but um, it's just different, you know what I mean? So if we could somehow, Figure a way. Um, figure a way to make it like make it like a girls only or a, a girls slumber. Like I don't know something like and share ideas, guys. Like this isn't something that I'm coming up and I have the answer. This is just something that I have. I know Facebook is really getting more into groups and they wanting to build those groups into communities and. This was a perfect example, this high school thing I'm in, was a perfect example of an incredible group of interaction in a community. And how can we twist and turn that into working it into our business? We're okay, we are still sharing product. But listen, if your VIP groups are kind of dead or really slow, um, and all you're doing is sharing product after product after product after product, after tutorial, opportunity, product, I get, you know, I get why they're slow. Mine's like that too. So don't, don't misunderstand. Um, you know, who wants to just be sold to all the time, you know? So let's make our group something where it's not, yeah, you can sell, 
but you're going to trickle in those with a whole lot of value added, a place that they can come and share, you know, um, what maybe, maybe, you know, Mondays or, you know, let's talk about stuff that has to do with, you know, insecurities when it comes to, I don't know, our weight, you know, um, where people share about what they've been doing. If they've, if they've lost anything, any tips, any of this, let's work together. You know, I don't know. Um, I'm just throwing stuff out here. Um, and maybe Tuesday can be, you know, all about, um, you know, hair products or, you know, not necessarily everything you sell, but things that like are going to get, you know, what's your favorite shampoo? What's your favorite conditioner? Um, you know, do you guys blow dry your hair first before you do your makeup? Do you do your makeup first and then blow dry your hair? Um, do you use a mask on your hair? Do you, you know, what's your favorite this or that? Um, you know, things that are going to engage people and get them to share their opinions, because I can tell you, if you can get people to share um, opinions, you get people to start talking about things because they like to give their opinions, um, you're going to get engagement. You know, you're going to get engagement, because don't forget, every time somebody comments on your post, somebody else is going to see it in their newsfeed. So it just kind of gets that going. Um, maybe... One day can be motivation, you know, you can sit here and share, you know, motivational things, this and that, or ask people to share their favorite motivational quote. Um, and then just kind of like have something that's set up where um, it may be something with health. Again, another day, you know, more with health, maybe you don't do weight, maybe you do health, where you talk about um, the importance of water and or do a water challenge in your group. You know, everybody's got to drink so many things of water and, do a little, you know how we did a little slasher things for kudos, you know, do it with glasses of water and post it up there and say, okay, whenever you get, you know, this many, share it, let's motivate each other. And then when you know one, you just keep having people share them, you know, um, just things like that to kind of build that community so people start interacting with each other and interacting with you. And it's not just a salesy group, you know, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, and if you have ideas, let, let's brainstorm together. Let's share and come up with some ideas of things that if you were a girl, you know, you want to maybe, maybe, you know, you want to have a day where you kind of unload, you know, the stresses that are going on in your life with your family, with your kids, with maybe your spouse or, or your, your friends or work or something. You know, this is a day to sit here and release it and, you know, put it out here. It's a safe zone. Let them know it's a safe zone. Um, you know, and sometimes people can offer support, you know, and things like that. Um, but I think that that, when you start really, like, getting involved in people and people getting involved, you know, and it's not just about sharing your products, um, I think, number one, you're going to feel better about your groups. Number two, people are going to be more interested and they're going to feel more connected with you because you're putting this whole group together. Um, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of people out there that, um, I don't know, a lot of like social media, um, motivational gurus, you know, that I follow and I, and it's not necessarily because they are so incredible themselves. I mean, they're awesome, I'm sure, but it's because they put something together that brings people together that they want to learn more. Um, and that's what you need to try to figure a way to do. Um, so that, you know, you don't have to know everything. You know, you just need to put stuff out there so that people can give you information and help you and you can help other people that may not know. And it's really about adding value. You know, um, it's one of the things that's going to get people coming to you over and over again is if you're constantly adding uh, value to your friends, to your followers, um, you're going to have people coming back. You're going to have them sharing stuff. You're going to have people like, oh, my gosh, you need to follow this chick. Because she has this awesome group where you can totally put it out there. It's a girls only group. You don't have to worry about, you know, anything like this. Um, she shares tips. She talks about different this. You know, we, we each have different times that we highlight things, you know, um, have a day where they shout out their own personal achievements, you know. And it may be kind of crickets in the beginning until people start you know, uh, working it out and feeling more comfortable and, you know, Hey, listen, I got, I got a raise today or, Hey, um, I got a promotion or, um, you know, whatever it is, you know, Hey, listen, I made it through the morning and I didn't, you know, strangle myself because of my kids. Um, 
or, you know, I didn't lose my mind because my dog barks at me constantly, you know, things like that. Like, you never know. Like, sometimes you just need a place to just go, you know? Listen, we have Lilas, you know? We have this group here, and there's times that we share, um, you know, it's not always about business. Sometimes I ask you guys to share things about yourself and things like that. I know that a lot of you guys have built friendships because of this team, um, and it's the same type of thing. You know, offer it, offer something similar, obviously not about the business, but offer something similar to other people, and then you're going to be giving value to them, and they're going to want more. And then when they feel good and those, those little feelers are really starting to work, they're going to be like, I want to try her makeup. I want to, you know, I want to be a part of her team. She's, you know, she's doing all this and creating all this. I want to be a part of that. Um, and like I said, as you're posting and sharing, it's honestly going to not feel as icky that all you're doing is posting about sales or posting about wanting sales. Um, because, you know, the biggest, the biggest, not the biggest, one of the biggest um, takeaways that I've had with my business over the years, you know, in the beginning, it was just in my mind, I just wanted sales. You know, I want sales. If my if my uh, online parties didn't qualify, they were cruddy. You know, they weren't a good party. And I realized if I if that's how I'm thinking, if I'm thinking that my party is only good because I got two hundred dollars in sales, then I'm missing the whole boat of what this business is about. You know, my party is good because I've connected with maybe twenty people, and I've become friends with maybe fifteen of those twenty people because maybe five decided they didn't want to accept my friend request. And I've been able to build relationships and hopefully add value into their life that maybe they didn't have the same type of value before they met me. Um, and be confident when you're sharing, you know, doing friends requests and things like that. Don't think it's weird that you're doing it. Listen, they have a choice. They're either going to accept your friend request or they're not, you know. If they don't, no sweat. I've got hundreds, hundreds of people that probably haven't accepted my friend request, you know. But I also have tons of people who did. And I can tell you right now, like I said earlier, and when I was telling the other story this earlier tonight, um, I know my value, I know what I bring to relationship, and I know my intentions in relationships. And if, you know, if I have somebody that, that accepts my friend request, I don't worry about, you know, gosh, they're gonna sit here and think all I'm gonna do is try to sell them. No, because I'm adding value. I'm trying to motivate and inspire and share my experiences with people so that maybe it inspires them to be better or, or be kinder or whatever it is. I mean, my platform obviously is about kindness um, and loving yourself. Those are two of my platforms. But you just never know. And putting yourself out there and sharing and giving that value and doing it in these groups, I think we're just going to come back in such a majorly huge way for you. So please, um, Please do me a favor. Think about let's let's brainstorm together. If you guys come up with ideas of like either topics for days, things to do, put it in um, put it in the comments here. That way we can go back because when you can search um, and Lila's you know search community and this video will come up and then you can put it in the comments and you'll always be able to go back to get fresh ideas. But let's put some ideas in the comments so that we can help each other and grow together because this this whole entire business and sisterhood is so much better when you have others to help you and you don't do it alone, you know? And that's what this is, that's what the culture I've tried to create over the last five, almost five and a half years, is that you aren't alone in this business. You always have us. I'm here. You have, you know, your other sisters that are here. And it's just such an incredible environment that you can absolutely flourish and become the best you that you can be. And you should. Um, before I wrap it up, one last thing. You guys, you had an incredible, we had an incredible first day of sales, right? We killed all records, went insane. And then all of a sudden, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, it was like, not flat line, but it was like, zoom. Like, we did $17,000. I'm just going to be completely transparent with you guys, because uh, why not, right? Um, we did $17,000, $17,012 in one day on the first, okay? This is, what, May 6th? Right, May sixth today, I think. May sixth, May fifth. No, May fifth was yesterday. May sixth. We're at nineteen thousand seven hundred twelve dollars. So in the first day, we did seventeen thousand dollars. In five days, we've done twenty seven hundred dollars. Every one of you guys that had sales on that first day and you started out this month so strong, don't let off that gas. 
you need to keep pushing because that's how you're going to get these promotions is to keep going, keep going, keep going. Share those pictures at 40. Keep talking about that 40. Share two pictures a day. You know, keep talking about your pre-order. You've got another batch of mascara coming in. You know, who wants on the second pre-order list? And when that comes in, who wants on the third pre-order list? Um, I did a post earlier today and, or it was last night. I don't know if it was last night or today. Um, and I have, I have to go back and message these people. I ha already have three people that are wanting the mascara from that post. These are people that I haven't even, like, well, one, one is a current customer of mine. Two of them have never been a customer of mine before. You know, if I stopped posting pictures the other day when we bought it on the first, I would not have these two customers. So keep sharing, keep, keep going with that momentum, keep going with that momentum. Um, you know, they've got more shipments coming in. It's not, it's not going to take that long to get it. And you want to keep building your business. You want to take it while it was on a, on a high and you want to keep rolling with it. You know, don't give up. You have promotions that you guys can go after this month. Don't let those promotions go. You started out with such a great month. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. Keep, keep, keep it going. Um, anyway, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have an incredible night. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you have any questions, pop them in here. If you have any help and suggestions you can do for this community building and our VIP groups and lash bashes, please pop them below. Um, I love you guys. Love yourself. And I will talk to you guys later.